I was heavy. I was heavy. The fight was well. Well, the fight uh, back then, one eighty three was their lightest weight class oh. in the first one. So, but I was still heavy, and uh, I took the fight. I flew to Japan, and I show up at one. I, I, I make I make one eighty three, so I make the weight. They say, "Hey, you know, he's a little smaller. We're gonna need you to to lose at least another pound." So I was like, all right. So I go and I cut a pound and come back at 182. And they're like, hey, you know, yeah, he's still too light. We, we're going to need you at 180. So it's like, okay, well, I've been eating. You know, I, I just started eating clean the last three days, you know. Um, so I get down to 180. Yeah, three days of, of good training it. Right. Mm-hmm. I get down to 180. You can see in the fight, it's like the softest I've ever been in a fight. I get down to 180 and they said, you know, we we uh, we need you to lose one more pound. He's 179. We need you to make 179. I'm dying at this point. It's only like three or four pounds that I'm cutting, but I was not prepared to cut anymore after yeah. already cut three and my body was not, you know. So here's the kicker. Here's where pride, you know, tells us tells a true story. My brother says, Hey, if you want him to lose any more weight, we need some sort of compensation. And they said, okay, okay, uh, so do you want Chris to win the fight? <laughs> and I go, what? And like, do you want to win the fight? <laughs> my brother, I'm like, I fucking knew this shit happened here. And I was like, no, no. And they signed me to a four fight deal instead. And I was like, yeah, I just want more fights or more money. And they signed me to four fights. And I was, so, nice. I walked away and I was like, wow, I was like, that's crazy because he's the guy that was coming up. I don't know what they would offer to me, but they were literally offering me a win in the fight. And, and uh, I was so mind blown. Um, so then, just for a pound, you lose the pound, you win the fight. <laughs> yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. yeah. So I end up uh, going out and arm barring the guy early in the first round. He screams and taps, and the ref jumps in and yells. And I let go and I get up and walk away. And I turn around over my shoulder and uh, they're like, no, 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 no. He didn't tap. He didn't tap. And they're saying they were stopping us because we're in the ropes. But it was bullshit. I had a straight arm bar. He screamed and the referee goes, ah, and grabbed me and stopped. And uh, it took about five minutes. I'm, I'm already tired. It's like two minutes. I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm going back to my corner. I'm standing there talking to my brother and, and Buck. And, and it takes about five minutes. They get six or seven referees in the ring together. And they're having this big old thing. And I'm looking at the guy, like, look me in the face and tell me you didn't tap. And he's like this. I was like, look at me. And he wouldn't. And then Sato was in his corner. I'm like, Sato, like, bro, like, you know he tapped. And it's the same thing. And they were just like doing this. I was like, it's called Bushido. Like, it's the the, the warrior, warrior way. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, man, they come back over and they said, you guys are going to fight again. So they send him back to his corner. Wait, so let me just interject. So Hughie Shimoda was the referee. And it was almost like a football huddle of all of like the Japanese brass on the side. And Chris, man, it was a, <clears throat> it's an incredible moment of pride where, you know, honor is so important there. And the audience, you know, is very quiet and clappy. And <clears throat> the referee just football huddle when they come out and you're sitting here going, oh, no, no, no. Never mind what they said. What do you say? It's pretty yeah. awesome, man. It's pretty yeah, was, cool. Very dramatic. A picture of me turn around like no, like that because I was freaking out. I'm like I'm not in shape to go again. <laughs> and and it was Stephen Quadro. No, I'm sorry. It was uh, um, That's true. Paulo Ronaldo's first oh. MMA event ever, and I was the first fight of the night. So I literally was first fight he ever called, and he's got all this controversy. And uh, so they restart us. I'm glad they did because the second half of the fight was way more exciting. I hit some of my my Kimura home base stuff that I that I mastered later but was uh the finish was really good i tore his shoulder off he actually ended up having to get surgery and it was the same side that that i arm barred and uh i leaned down while he's laying on his back and i was like you should have admitted you tapped the first time and i just walked away and then uh i, I got an interview with boss afterwards and he's you know i took i took responsibility for it i said i shouldn't let go you know whatever because i i i wanted to you know I didn't want to have shit with Japan and pride being my first time fighting for them. And uh, it worked out. So uh, was Kyle Uno in your corner? My corner? No. 
check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.